Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see what is the difference between data architect and data engineer. Well, there is always a confusion. What exactly is the role of a data architect and who is data engineer? So how they share their work. So that is what we are going to see in this video. This is a very important video to understand what role you play. So we are talking with respect to data. So as part of the agenda, I'll be telling you what is this data pipeline and uh, later I'll be telling you what exactly we can relate to a layman example. And finally, we'll see what is the difference between a data architect and a data engineer and we'll see the roles and responsibilities. So before even I get into the data architect and data engineer role, so let me tell you what is this data pipeline. So when I say data pipeline, in reality, we are getting the data from the different data sources in the form of a flat files, Excel files, JSON files, and majority of the data we are also getting from on-prem, right? So our basic need is we need to gather all of this data into a single source. And from there, we will be sending for the reporting. Now, if I'm talking about, a, let's say, KSR Data Vision, we are getting a lot of requests from LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. So what we do is we collect all of this data, store it at one place, and then we start chasing our leads. This is what we do. And this is what is data engineers do. But if I start going a bit deeper, we have a two roles. One is called a data architect and one is data engineer. So let's try to understand in a very layman explanation. Imagine you want to build a house. So this is you. You're trying to reach out to someone who can design a house for you. And later you want that to be implemented. Now, once you go to a someone, you ask for the plan, like where exactly your living room should be, where exactly your kitchen should be, where exactly, what exactly should be dimension of your balcony. So it's a complete layout that needs to be created before the implementation. And the person who goes and builds this design, we call them as a design architect, right? And this design architect, they plan it for you and they send it for next set of people who are actual builders. Now, these builders will blindly go and follow this design architect. Whatever may be the plan that this design architect has given, these builders will go exactly build the same plan and they don't have any suggestions as such because these guys are like experienced guys. They have come up with a design and they also need to know what type of materials we use, where exactly should be the dimension. And in case if suddenly there is a rain or there is a flood, how to manage it, what should be the roof, every single thing this design architect will tell. And who is going to build? It's the builders. Now, the, the, if I bring the same example with our role, data architect and data engineer, the same individual person, let's replace with client. Now, client is asking for a data pipeline and the person who designs the house plan for us is the same person. Now, we call it as a data architect in our terminology. This guy helps us in building the plan. So where exactly the data is to move from, which orchestration layer which we are going to use in case if the data comes in huge in future, how to scale it. So all of this will be planned by data architect. And just like the builders who is going to build the house here, the data engineers are actual builders who are going to build the house for you, right? So in our case, it is going to be a pipeline. So this entire thing, if you relate it individual to a client, design architect to a data architect and builder to a data engineer, this is what data architect and data engineers will do. So if you see here, you may have two or three data architects, whereas builders, you have many. Similarly, in a project, a data architect will have one or two who have a very huge experience. And with respect to data engineer, data engineer can anyone who can build the pipelines for you. Now, to go one step forward, data engineers, usually people who are from zero to eight years of experience, play a crucial role in the data engineers. So these data engineers are the engineers who actually constructs the data pipelines, right? Who work on the transformations extractions. And the main skills that you need to know is you need to be a very good hands-on experience you need to have, where you have to know Python, PySpark, SQL, how exactly the pipeline works. All of this you need to know. And you need to know this technically, you need to be very strong to to build the pipelines. So the experience, I would say zero to eight years of experience can anyone become a data engineer. But if you talk about the data architect, for data architect, you need a lot of experience because you need to design the system, right? 
the designing a system is very very tough task and it's a very much complex so you need to understand and you are the person who's going to give the blueprint like where exactly the data flows how it is stored how we can manage it all of this has to be taken care so i would say the experience above eight years you can become a data architect of course you will be paid high more than your data engineers but what is the real challenges what exactly you know how you can implement it so here the main skill set you need to know is you need to have a good data modeling techniques and you need to have a database design uh, a basic of python and sql should be enough and more importantly you need to know the data governance and policies how to protect your data how to give the access to data who will be the right person to access your data that entire platform Platform is what you're going to design. Now, with this two comparison, let's see roles and responsibilities. So, as I've told you, engineers, we are paid high. Data engineers are paid high, where you'll be participating in implementation, automation. You'll try to focus on your accuracy of your pipelines. And here, every single day, you will be involved in your hands-on implementation. And mainly, you'll be involved in data extraction and data cleaning, and you'll get a decent salary. But if you take an architect who has to be very much sharp in designing it, so you have to have some some statistic uh, approach you have to have some design systems you need to have a very good experience on cloud services you need to know which are the right services that you need to use for what type of pipelines so you are the person who's going to decide the right pipelines the right services for the project so your role is very crucial as i said more the experience and your complex the role you will get a very high package so architects are paid the highest among all the data driven technologies and in fact anyone can build a pipeline but what is really needed is you need to have the optimization for example imagine we are building a data science project in ksr a data engineering project so in that case my income itself is 1 lakh but i cannot spend 2 lakhs for data management right my cost becomes very important so with that respect to particular client with respect to particular business how much we can afford to spend it on the, the systems cost optimization is also important that is again decided by architect so i hope this this video was helpful to understand what is the difference between an engineer and architect. We'll meet you in more videos.